Hey, we're in Las Vegas. We're up way too early for being in Las Vegas. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. We're about to do two radio interviews and a TV show. So come on, be with us and see what happens. See how bad this goes. Hey, look, it's Chuck, it's Chuck Duran. Dude. Look, he's got a guitar. Wow. Who we're is here he? at the Broadcasting Corporation. I think he's in warrant. No, he's not. He has a warrant. <laughs> That's now for his arrest. <laughs> hey, look, it's Johnny Five. <laughs> Uh, we gotta have him on the show. Please welcome Rob Sugar to the show. Hey, fellas. Hey, hey. hey. good How are you doing? morning. How are you, Greg? Sunshine. Weirdest thing I've ever. When I heard this, I'm like, uh, uh. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, me three. He's going to be out at uh, the Chrome Showroom on Saturday night. Uh, Santa Fe Station. Santa Fe. You know why we're at the Chrome Showroom, Craig? Tell me. It's the only showroom in Vegas named after <laughs> metal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is, who's, how, what, what, where are you guys come from? The happen? parking lot, dude. There's a guy out there with a car waiting for us right now. How did this happen? It can happen because uh, two years ago, I just kind of thought to myself, you know, there needed to be an injection of fun back into rock and roll, and I thought, what would happen if you took everybody's favorite metal riffs from the 80s, the ones that always get people on their feet with their fists in the air, and then you sang the 80s favorite pop melodies over the top of those things, what would happen? So now we got us doing, like, Journey over Metallica and Madonna over ACDC and <laughs> Duel over Kiss and all kinds of weird combinations, but... It works, and it works surprisingly well, and it's a really good time to be had by all. Was it hard for you to find songs that actually mix together? I mean, you said Madonna over ACD. How long did it take you to figure out that well, those two wouldn't work? I had the easy what job you? because, see, I, I was, I'm just like the lunatic that runs drinks. around thinking stuff, and then I go in to see Chuck Duran, the guitarist over there, and I say, Chuck, quick, dude, put Jesse's Girl together with Crazy Train. Now i got to leave. And I leave, and I'd leave him there with a the guitar, and two days later I'd come back and he'd have it. He'd figure it out. Yeah. That's twisted. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. You know, a little rewrite, changing keys, uh, changing tempos. He actually had to have sex with Jesse to be able to fully understand the song. Well, I can't blame you for that. Yeah, come on! It's rock and roll. So inter introduce everybody else in the band. You are, First of all, you are... I'm Jess Harnell. I'm the lead singer. And uh, it's a fun thing is I get to sing like a lot of my favorite singers in this project, which you'll see if you get to come and see us. We also have on drums an actual Grammy winner and a close personal friend of mine. And we all know you can't have metal without Al. That's Alex Trek. A yeah. Grammy winner? Yeah, Grammy That's winner. That's right. What'd you win a Grammy yeah, for? what did you win a Grammy for? I don't, I don't know. I <laughs> you said, keep telling me that. They, they, I, I said I miss my granny, and then everybody said I want a Grammy. No. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck's the guy who did a lot of the musical arrangements on the record. Chuck Duran, thank you very also much. Also invented the condom. A lot of people don't know that. And the Frisbee. <laughs> Johnny Five and Johnny has more tattoos on him than a, than a pen shop, more ink on him than a pen shop, and he is one cooler than Nikki Six. Is Johnny Five? Thanks. Nice, right there. All right. Well, I find it hard to believe that you can actually mix uh, Metallica and Journey. It's tricky. <laughs> but I think we're gonna get a little taste of it. Yeah, we're gonna do yeah. a, we're gonna do an unplugged thing for you, man, because we love you guys, and uh, we couldn't bring all the gear, so we said, well, let's give an idea. Obviously, to hear the record or seeing us live is the best way to hear the full power of the band, but this will give you an idea of what's going. So twisted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Come to the Chrome Showroom Saturday night. You're like, 30 more of those. That's freaking twisted. Madonna! Madonna. That's awesome. Come Just on, folks. That was live uh, in the studio. Yeah, thanks, man. Doing it at 8 o'clock, 7.45 in the morning. That's right? the tough part, Craig. Yeah, that's Greg. rocking, man. And try hitting high Ds at 7.45. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I better win something tonight. That's cool, man. <laughs> thanks, so bro. you guys do a whole set of that? Yeah, and what's great is the reaction that it's it's gotten so far worldwide has been nothing short of spectacular. I mean, oh, we're, my God. Yeah, we're playing the Download Festival with ACDC and Aerosmith next week in England, and we average like wow. a thousand new fans on Facebook a week at Rock Sugar Band on our Facebook page. And oh, cool. Getting love from everywhere, man. Playing big shows. We did uh, we did a show like two weeks ago. Yeah, Three Doors Down up there on the wall. We were the opening band of this festival. Uh, 10,000 people came to see us. Then Vince Neil went on right after. We were enjoying the rest of the day. At the end of the day, Three Doors Down literally got stuck in Nashville because of a tornado, and the promoter said, guys, will you go on and do another show? And we said, hell yeah! And so we were the only band in the history of the festival to open and close for ourselves. Oh, oh be cool. darn. Yeah, it was great, man. Well, Good that's Cool. Not bad for 815. <laughs> yeah. How do you guys do that and don't like 
Like, that just trips my head out listening to you guys. Well, you know, that's the whole idea. What I, what the, the most fun thing about the band, you know, is that it's the, all the stuff you think you know in a whole new way to how you're used to hearing it. Wow. I guarantee that when you come to the show, you will know every word of every song. You've just never heard them in this order. I, 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 think, I think it's like it's, it's akin to if you drive the same route to work every single day for 10 years and then one day and you know it like the back of your hand and then one day smack dab in the middle of the road there's a spaceship that's going to knock you for a loop hopefully that's sort of what Rock Sugar does it's like it takes the familiar and reinvents it nice. right on hopefully. man the music coming into us is so calm after we're going to how are you guys great right, it's good to be here with you guys so this is Rock Sugar for those of you who don't know this is a band and as Tina alluded to Never guess that by looking at us. Right, right, right. You yes, the band. Jump in the billet. Oh. With that here, we thought you were a news anchor. It's, well. a, it's attached to the hat. It's a <laughs> so first, just tell us a little bit about yourselves and what kind of music you perform, because it's a little unique here. Yeah, yeah, well basically what we decided to do is we wanted to put some fun back into rock and roll and we said, what if you took the coolest 80s metal riffs that gets everybody on their feet and their hands in the air and then combined them with everybody's favorite 80s pop songs. So basically you get us singing Journey over Metallica and singing Madonna over ACDC and Paula Abdul over Kiss and it shouldn't make sense, but it kind of does. I love it, although when you were doing the rehearsal, here's the thing is you start singing and everybody starts singing along because I think they know where you're yeah. going. And then you switch it up, and then you're like, oh, okay. Well, you know, I wasn't expecting that. That's, that's, it's beautiful you said that because that's the whole idea. What we're trying to do is take all the things you thought you know by heart and turn them upside down right in front of your eyes. That's great. So where are you guys based at? We're based out of Los Angeles, but we're quickly becoming based out of the whole wide world. We're going to play with ACDC and Aerosmith next weekend, and tomorrow night, uh, is it tomorrow night? Saturday night, we're making our Las Vegas debut at the beautiful Santa Fe Station Casino in the Chrome Showroom. We're at the Chrome Showroom because it's got metal in the title. I mean, how bad can that be? I just saw my favorite my favorite word, if we can pull up that screen what, again. What's that, free? Free. free. Yeah! Free. The show is the show free. Is totally free. Yeah, but you can bring gifts if you feel One like One of the very few times you can see Roger and free. Yeah, well, I can see you guys free all the time. I'm over it. Hey, just <laughs> bring us a sandwich. We'll be all right. <laughs> Before you guys perform, over on the end, what is that you have? You have a tambourine in one hand. What do you have in the other hand? A little shaker. That's, okay. called, that's actually an Easter egg. He's been saving it. I, I freak people out, too, because one it angers a rattlesnake. I like it. I There's thinking, a lot of noise coming out of that little thing. Yeah. That's the kind of musical instrument for somebody like me that doesn't have Guess what? You're the new Tracy Partridge. You're in the band. I love it. Well, I'm going to let you guys really, really? show people how it's done. All right. We're actually going to say goodbye, and we're going to let you guys just play oh, thank you. That's wow. great. Wow. Yeah. So we do. Thank you for joining us for Actually Live at 9. We hope to see you back here at 11 a.m. for midday. And Rock sugar. Cake sugar. Tomorrow night, Santa Fe Station. Here yeah. we go. Non-electric metal. Let's One, go. One, two, three, four. Uh,